Hi, I'm Colin with Blue Marble Consulting, an authorized reseller of SAP's S4 HANA Finance. In this video, I'm going to show you five of my favorite apps within SAP Fiori. Now, there are three different types of apps within Fiori. We have transactional apps, and these give us access to tasks so we can change or create certain things from these apps or change entire processes. We also have analytics applications, and these are just visual overviews of the topic and allow for further KPI-related analysis. And third and final are fact sheets, and these allow you to view essential information about objects. So the five apps that we'll be taking a look at are MySpend, Revenue, Total Receivables, PostGL, and Accounts Receivable Analytics. So the first app will be MySpend, which is up here. We can already see that we have 16 million spent just from looking at this tile. So you can click on this to drill down a little bit further. And now we can see that this division has spent 937,000 and they are about 7% over the budget. And down here we can see these different departments categorized by how much they have either left to spend or have overspent. So for instance, we can see general accounting purchasing is green because when we click on this, they have about 85% of their budget left to spend. If we go down to accounts payable, which is red, and we click on this, we can see that they are about 223% over their budget. So we can drill down in this to further see line items to see where this is coming from. And then we can see more categories for the accounts payable budget for December 2014. And we can drill down and we can see actually instantly that most of this is coming from this third party spending. So we can use this drop down to see exactly where this is coming from. We can go to purchase services and then we can view line items for this and view the individual line items for the purchase services for accounts payable. And find these individual documents. So that is the My Spend app. The next app that we'll be taking a look at is the Revenue app. And this is another analytical application within SAP Fiori. So we'll scroll down to the Revenue app. And again, just from this tile, we can get a very quick overview of the revenue that we've pulled in from the year to date. You can see 505.1 million. So we'll click on this to drill down further. And this will give us a chart of the revenue for the last 12 months. We can also see planned revenue in purple here along with the actual revenue. Similar to the last application, we can drill down further. So if we want to take a look at our revenues for February, we can click on this dot right here. And we can look at revenues coming in by our top five customers. We can see that this customer one has pulled in the most revenue at 15 million along with the other top five customers. So now we'll go back to the home page. Now we'll take a look at another analytical app called Total Receivables. And this is directly above the revenue application here. You can see that we have 188.4 million total receivables as of today. And from this chart, we can see that we have some overdue receivables past 90 days, from 90 days to 61 days. And then moving down the chart here, we can see that we have some receivables that are due within one to 30 days. And we can, again, click on this to drill down and view total receivables by customers, company code, or accounting clerk. We'll, again, go with the top four customers. And we can see that all of this is for this just one particular customer right here. And then we can, if we want, drill down even further and also view by accounting clerk and a company code like we could before, but we can also clear incoming payments as well as manage line items and display customer master data. 
So you can very quickly drill down into the root cause or, or just see where all of your receivables or part of your receivables are coming from. Now the last, or sorry, the next app that we'll take a look at is the Post General Ledger app. And this is a transactional app because you're actually making a general ledger posting through this Fiori app. So we'll scroll up to the app, Post General Ledger document, right here. And again, these transactional apps allow you to access many different types of tasks. So here we are creating a general ledger posting, but you can also change other documents or even change processes like guided navigation. So here we are in this PostGL document application. And so all we have to do is choose a general ledger account. So here I'll just go ahead and make an electricity posting in the general ledger account. So we'll find the electricity account here. And we'll just enter in all the information like we would when we're normally making a general ledger posting. So we'll enter in the tax jurisdiction. Enter in a tax code, jurisdiction. And then this will also be need, needs to be assigned to a cost center. In this case, it will be an individual. Now we'll do the same thing for this second line item here. All right, and we'll go ahead and post that. And then once this is posted, we can display the document reviewing what we had just posted within SAP Fiori. We can see the line items, general ledger accounts. We can also attach documents and notes to this posting as well. All right, and so that is the general ledger document posting app. Again, that is a transactional application. So now we'll go back to the home screen and we'll take a look at the last Fiori app, the Accounts Receivable Analytics. And this final app is an analytical app, as I'm sure you can tell. And this will allow us to take a look at analytics for accounts receivable. All right, now here we have these great charts and graphs allowing us to take a look at revenues by month, day sales outstanding, as well as key metrics. Now scrolling over these bars in this revenue by month chart allows us to see some information for these different periods per year. So we can see in period one of 2015, we have 45 million in revenue. Similar to that in the day sales outstanding chart, we can scroll over each of these periods as well and see the average day sales outstanding. We can also filter by customer or order date if we want as well. Again, we have these metrics down here. We also have buttons which will allow us to open up more detailed charts. So we can click on this day sales outstanding button and this will open up the day sales outstanding application which will allow us to view the outstanding sales by customer. And from here, similar to all the other applications, we can drill down further from there. So this AR Analytics application is a great way to get a quick overview as well as drill down into more pertinent information. So now we'll go back home. So those are five great apps within SAP, SAP Fiori. We took a look at the My Spend app, the Revenue app, Total Receivables, Post General Ledger Document, and the Accounts Receivable Analytics app. And again, there are three different app types. We have transactional, analytics, and fact sheet apps. For more information on how Blue Marble Consulting can implement a solution like this for you, please call one of our numbers listed here. 
And for an extensive list of all the Fiori apps available, please visit our website at sap-bmc.com forward slash Fiori.